Hello guys, I hope you're well. Thank you for joining me today for this Divine Masculine reading. It's going to be a weekly Divine Masculine reading to see what energy the Divine Masculines are in, what they're feeling, what they're experiencing. So it's going to be for the week of March 29th to the 4th of April 2021. So I'm going to start doing the reading. I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to use Archangel Michael's cards to start the reading. So I'm going to start shuffling. I, like I said, I hope you guys are well and you're coping um, with whatever situation you're, or circumstances you're in at the moment. Um, hopefully you're feeling a little bit better now. We've, been, we've just had the full moon in Libra. So you could be feeling a little bit of a shift or feeling more fresh and more balanced or you could still be experiencing the intense energies. Um, so let me know in the comments down below how you're coping and what's going on with you. Always love hearing from you guys. Um, and if you are new, welcome to my channel, Aligning With My Soul. My name is Zoe um, and thank you to all of you for joining me on my journey and supporting me. <laughs> Um, it really does mean the world to me that you know you share how you're feeling and encouraging me, sharing your love and sharing your journeys. Um, I find it so comforting knowing I've got I'm connected with people like you guys and we can help each other. So thank you so much. Um, if you'd like a private reading for a clearer message for your personal, unique per, um, twin flame journey, just email me it's in the description box down below. Um, I can do that for you um, and my readings are timeless so it doesn't matter when you clipped onto the reading if you feel connected to me and the message resonates it means it's for you and I use the labels divine feminine divine masculine because that's how I channel um, it's easier for you to understand um, just put it into your situation how it resonates I do realize it's energy so please don't be offended so let's see what's going on with the divine masculines this week the weeks, you know, recently the weeks, you know, the weekly readings, every reading that I've been doing is so powerful and so positive about the Divine Masculines. Um, so I'm interested to see what's going to come out. So let's see what energy they're going to be in this week for the 29th of March to the 4th of April 2021. That's a good start, isn't it? The Romance Angels are helping your Divine Masculine this week. <laughs> your Divine Masculine is in the energy of feeling romantic, feeling, you know, this love, they're wanting to come towards you, they want to be intimate with you, they want to have this relationship, they want to be close to you, they are exploding with this love, we know that they are. Um, so they are being supported and guided and helped um, to give them the courage and the strength to be able to bring this down into the 3D, this relationship, so they can experience this into the 3D. So. This is the energy of what the Divine Maskings are experiencing. This is a very positive first card. It's very overwhelming, isn't it? Um, you can't get any better than that from the Archangel Michael cards. They have been so supportive, uh, um, so supported at the moment and protected and encouraged to um, do this because they truly do want to be intimate with you. In, you know, when I say intimate, that doesn't mean just about the physical act it means about being close to you being open to you to show you who they really are to be truthful to you to be honest with you to take the mask down um this is what they really want they really want this now and they're really feeling this love and they want all of the things all of the things that you would love to experience with your divine masculine and they feel the same because you're one soul so whatever you're feeling and what you're experiencing they experience too and we know divine feminines you have been doing your work you have been doing your work and you've been pushed to the limits recently to do this you could have been triggered um in so many different ways um, recently not just to do with your dog I'm asking every area of your life and you've been pushed to show that you do really trust and believe um, that everything else everything is always working out for you and that you always are protected and safe from whatever experience you have you know it's for a reason and you have 
the ability now to see through the illusions, to rise above them and accept what's going on in your life. Accept that when you're feeling down or you're feeling different emotions or you're feeling frustrated, angry, upset, um, you accept that that's how you're feeling and you're taking total responsibility of how you're feeling. You're not blaming every, anybody else. Um, and you're not blaming yourself. You're just allowing and accepting where you are and allowing yourself to release whatever needs to be released and asking yourself, what am I learning from this? What am I learning, learning from this? How is this you know, making me grow? And divine masculines, you know, they're 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 taking total responsibility for themselves and how they're feeling. They're not allowing the ego to take over their life anymore. This is why they're allowing themselves to feel this romance, this love, because they're really tuned in with how they're feeling. And they're not blocking anything anymore. They're not <clears throat> their chakras are open. They're not blocked. They're not blocking this love anymore. They're open to receiving. And they were open, you know, they want to give, they want to express themselves. Um, because of how you're feeling, because you're one soul. So what, like I say, whatever you're doing, divine feminine, your divine masculine experience, or experiencing, um, because you're aligning with your soul, you're aligning with who you truly are, and that's what's happening to the divine masculines. So they're feeling very loved up this week, full of love and feeling romantic and thinking about things that they'd love to do with you that's romantic just being just they're ready to have this closeness with you to be open with you they have this trust they're feeling because they're trusting themselves and they're trusting in god the universe because they have this deeper understanding they feel ready to allow you in they're allowed they're ready to allow you in because they're taking responsibility of how they're feeling they're not um thinking that when you or anybody outside of themselves do anything to that could hurt them they're gonna they they know that they have to take total responsibility of how they're feeling the same as you you're not you know you've got to a place where <clears throat> whatever you're experiencing you're taking responsibility of how you're feeling and how a situation is feeling and how your divine masculine makes you feel, you know, if it if it's a trigger. So the divine masculines are ready to be intimate. They're ready to be close to you. They're ready to be open to you to take the masks down. Um, so I really do hope this resonates with you and you feel that within you as well. You'll know. If this resonates with you because you go by how you're feeling and um, what you already know as well when you are not allowing the ego to interfere and get in the way and feed you all of the old stuff that you used to believe and old, old programming when you actually let that go and you're being true to yourself and you're speaking truthfully to yourself and being honest with yourself and trusting your intuition um, you will know this within you as well about you you have that feeling what's going on with your divine masculine um and you have to take total responsibility as well if this reading doesn't resonate whether you have to be responsible and think well this isn't resonating and click off of it um so i, I really do hope that it does resonate um because even not just my readings, other people's readings. It's all really very intense at the moment. It's all so positive about the divine masculine. So, so many divine mask, you know, twin flames are coming into union. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a, April. I feel is going to be a very powerful month. So the divine masculines are ready, and they want to be intimate with you. <clears throat> And they're feeling all this love. They're just feeling, and they are being so supported by the angels and God. And so, you know, courage to, you know, have this, to take the next step, to have the, be courageous to come towards you. 
so let's see what else comes out i'm very hesitant today because it's so overpowering for me it is really overpowering for me and again like i said you have to take on responsibility if this res resonates and obviously when you're doing when i do my readings they're always so positive and i go very deep about the divine masculines because i have a very deep understanding of this journey this journey where i know that it's nothing to do with the divine masculine it's to do with the divine feminine because you're the positive polarity you're it's a relationship with yourself so when I'm saying things, positive things, my ego wants to come in and actually go, oh my goodness, you know, this is very positive, you know, this is, you know, you know, is this, you know, I hope I'm getting this right, you know, I'm doubting, the doubt and the fear wants to come in with me as well, and I'm thinking, is this right, am I doing it right, am I, this, you know, am I getting the, the message across right for you guys, but I've got to realise it's not my responsibility, it's your responsibility, the person that's watching. You know, if it doesn't resonate and you're in a place where you're like, no, she doesn't know what she's talking about because I don't think my divine masculine's um, feeling this love or is in the romantic, you know, feeling romance. You have to take that on board yourself and obviously remove yourself from the, the reading. Um, so I'm in that, you know, I'm trying to control what's going on with me as well where I, I try not to let the doubt and the fear to come in and my ego take over and think oh my goodness I'm so responsible for you the person that's watching but I realize that actually it's your responsibility if this resonates this is you know you're doing an amazing job because you've got your yourself in a place where you're ready to be intimate you're ready to be open you're ready to be truthful you're ready to to have this relationship with your divine masculine um because you are having a relationship with yourself because you're feeling more balanced you're understanding things more so let's see what else is going to come out this is deep isn't it guys um so i'm going to go do an animal card next an archangel animal card for the weekly reading for the divine masculine so they're feeling this love they're feeling romance they want to be intimate they want to share with you who they really are they want to express their love what else do we need to know about the divine masculines this week for the 29th of march to the 4th of april 2021 what else are the divine masculine is going to be feeling and experiencing this week march the 29th to the 4th of april 2021 I mean, it does, isn't it? It, it, it? You know, the ego does interfere and it is like, oh, is this is all too good to be true. But that's because it's so easy for us to, to, to go there. It's so much harder to actually believe, well, yeah, this is happening. Which is a very sad, isn't it? It's, hard, it's harder for us to believe, <laughs> to believe, really believe, not to say believe, you really believe, than it is to actually just go, oh, no. It's easy for us just to go, no, can't be true. <laughs> and this is what I think the Divine Feminines are experiencing. And that's what I'm experiencing. I'm being honest about it. How I'm feeling. You know, I'm saying actually it's really hard to believe. Because um, the, the, the cards are just so positive. And again, in the 3D, we're experiencing, you could be experiencing, you know, like nothing's happening. There's silence. There's a pause. Um, but you have to see beyond that. You have to see through the illusions. You have to know, you know, you just have to trust yourself of what you know within yourself. You have to be in tune with yourself. You have to switch off what's going on in the 3D. So let's see what else the Divine Masculine, you know, their energy, what they're experiencing, how they're feeling. Horse, yeah, freedom. They're feeling freedom, they're feeling free, they're feeling lighter. <laughs> they're in an energy where they, because they have, um, everything's clicked into place, they have this deep understanding of what's going on. They understand why you've come into their life. They know about twin flames. They are conscious, they're aware of what's going on, which is causing them to feel this freedom. They're freeing themselves from this burden um, they realise that they're protected, they realise that they're safe and they're connected with God and the angels. 
the universe, whatever word your divine masculine, you know your divine masculine uses, it doesn't matter, but they know there's a higher power, they know they're trusting, which is helping your divine masculine be able to be true to themselves, to um, feel more confident, to feel the courage and the strength um, to carry, do with this journey. Um, <laughs> because they're putting their trust, they are trusting, they're, tr they're trusting in God, they're trusting and allowing things to unfold, they're open to receiving, they're open to receive guidance, the wisdom they're needing, um, they're not closed off anymore, they're open to everything, all their chakras are open, um, they're in their heart space, they're so loved up that they want to come towards you, they want to share this love, and they're feeling freedom. They're feeling free from this situation. It's not, as, um, they're not feeling this as if there isn't a solution. They're seeing through the illusions as well. They're not allowing their old beliefs and the old programming, you know, that they've, they've uh, they don't allow that to interfere in their life anymore. They can manage it. They're working through this, they're managing their ego, they're managing, they're allowing the thoughts to come in and they're allowing them to go. They're allowing themselves to feel, they're allowing themselves to accept. You know, they're just, they're so in tune with themselves and that's because you are divine feminine, it's because this is what you've been experiencing. You have found that inner peace within you. You know how to get that, to find that inner peace. Sometimes it's harder than others because it's, you know, depends what's, you know, the energies and things you're experiencing, but you can get to your place where you can find that inner peace. Um, you know how to do that. You're aware how to do that now um, because you're allowing yourself to feel how you're feeling. You're accepting where you are. You know things are happening for a reason. You know it's for your highest good. And if our masculines are doing this, they're practicing this in their everyday life, which is causing them to have freedom. And horse represents freedom. Um, so that's amazing, isn't it? That they're feeling free. They're feeling free from this situation. And this is really going to help the divine masculines to be able to come towards you, you know, to, to take out some action action in the 3D. They're wanting to do this as well. And so you could be saying, oh for goodness say, how long have you been saying that for sorry? You know, oh, you know, when are they actually going to do this? <laughs> well, that's not down to me. It's not down to your divine masculine. It's down to you, the person that's watching. Um as I always say, this is you having a relationship with yourself and you might think, oh my goodness, I've I've, I've done this and I've done that. I've healed this, I've done that. But then there's always something that comes up and actually that you need to still do. Um, so if you aren't seeing any action, if you aren't, if your divine masculine needs to be in silent or there's been a pause, it's because you're being protected um, because there's more to be done. There's more within you that needs to be done. Um, but overall, the divine masculines are wanting to be intimate. They're in this good energy and they are feeling free. So it's a positive week. Um, so... As you know, you have to go within you, you have to look at yourself because you can't treat your divine masculine separate from you. As soon as you look at your divine masculine as separate from you and you're looking at them to do something and you're expecting them to do something, it all goes wrong. You have to let go of the physical person. If you, of course, you're going to think of the physical person, of course, you are. Um, but you can't put, hold your divine masculine responsible for your happiness or for them to do something. It's got to be within you. It's got to be this energy that you're feeling, this peace within you, when you realise that there is nothing to worry about, that you're one soul, whatever you're feeling and how you love your divine masculine, your divine masculine feels for you. When you release the doubt and the fear of what you're thinking, oh my goodness, if they, are they ever going to come back to me? Um, is this really going to happen when you let go of that and you actually know 100% and you're confident you really believe in yourself and what you know your divine masculine will have that shift to come towards you to come to you because you're 
<laughs> that's how it works because you're one soul as soon as you are thinking as the person is separate and as if it's a soulmate relationship and you have an expectation of how your divine masculine should be that's when it all goes wrong you just have to find that peace and and, and um, just be and to let go of being perfect and um, thinking that everything has to be a certain way <laughs> just to just hand the whole thing over and surrender and just know this is happening this is happening so let's see one more card i'm gonna get i hope you understand what i'm saying and you don't think i'm being too harsh <laughs> um i'm gonna use the power of love now um these are beautiful cards they're so beautiful you know bright and so powerful um and we know divine masculines are in this energy of this love they just want to express it it's just something within whatever's going on with you like i always say it's something they will be guided at the right time when to, to come towards you when you truly believe that that is what's going to happen when you let go of control they will come and you really do have to believe, not just say it, you have to feel it, own it, know, don't allow the doubt and the fear to take over, you can allow it to come in and allow it to go back out again and go back to who, what you truly know, I'm looking through the eyes of love. What else do we need to know about the Divine Masculines this week of 29th of March to the 4th of April 2021? What energy are they going to be in? Expression, yeah. They, they want to express this to you guys. So believe. Believe your Divine Masculine can do this. Believe that they can do this. They've got so much love. They're ready to manifest this. <laughs> they want this so much. They want to be intimate with you. They want to be honest with you. They want to take their masks down with you because of how you what the work that you've done but there's something still if you're not seeing any results is something within you where you is about believing believing and not being in the energy of doubt and fear or allowing the doubt and fear like i always say to come in and allow it to go and think yeah that, that's not nice that's that feeling is not nice that's take no i don't want that feeling i don't want that feeling no i know the truth as soon as you let allow the doubt and the fear to come in, you're not being truthful to yourself. You're not aligning with who you are. You know the truth. Because you know how you feel. You know this love is real. And your divine mask then feels exactly the same because you're one soul. It's not, you're not separate. It's very hard to get your head around. I understand that. Let's, let's read what it says in the book. You have come back to earth to share your individual wisdom and express your personal code, which you've developed through lifetimes of experiences. You have many methods of soul expression available, whether it be with words, dress, art or movement. Each form shows your character and reveals an important aspect of your being. When you express your soul's true nature to the rest of the world, it is an incumbent on you to lead by the example. You must be true to your nature and never attempt to alter your self-expressions to please someone else. If you act only to receive approval and acceptance from others, you demonstrate that you do not believe in yourself or respect your uniqueness. Don't succumb to peer pressure or desire to fit in. You choose to incarnate in this physical dimension and to follow the blueprint chosen by you. Let your soul's light illuminate your ideas and express them in tangible ways. To get your message across, believe in it. Present your point of view clearly and loving, lovingly so that others understand you. As you continue on your path, make sure to leave your distinctive mark and footprints to inspire and teach others. Yeah. They don't want to fit in to the world anymore. Fit in, you know, what society says they have to be they don't want to go along with things um and how they used to be they they are feeling confident 
confident of who they are and they want to express this to the world. They want to express this to you. Um, and they have this realisation that they're unique. It's okay to be they are, who they are and they're believing in themselves. And they know as soon as they are, go off track and they go back into old ways and stuff, it's not, that feeling is not good. It isn't a nice feeling. Um, they don't like that feeling. Um, they're comfortable with who they are now. They know that they're unique and they're loved. Um, and this is all about them expressing themselves. They, want, they, know, they know as well that they want to express themselves pure who they pure you know who they truly and to be pure to you um and this is so different for the divine masculines it's such a big change for the divine masculines because they've hidden for such a long time they've worn a mask um, because they haven't been confident on who they are they've they've they've, they've felt uncomfortable with who they are now they're feeling comfortable to express themselves and they want they do want to show you the world they're feeling safe about showing the world who they really are. They don't want to hold back anymore. Um, and of course they want to express to you pure, true, unconditional love. Um, because they're feeling confident in themselves. They're not feeling that they're not good enough and they're not worthy. They know they're worthy. They know that they're deserving of this because they have this deep understanding of this journey. So they really are wanting to express themselves. Um, and they're accepting everything. They're accepting everything that happens. They accept that things have happened in the past for a reason. They know that they're learning all the time by different situations. Acceptance is such a big part of this journey. When you accept and you allow, you get yourself in such a good energy, so peaceful. Um, when you just accept, because you're letting go, you're not resisting. You're just allowing things to flow instead of controlling things and holding on to things. You're just being open. So the Divine Masculines are in a good energy again this week. <laughs> Even if you can't see any difference, yet, you have to believe that. You have to know it. You have to own it. And you have to really believe, not just say it. You have to believe it. They're feeling this love, this romance. They want to be intimate with you. They want to express this to you. They're feeling this freedom because they understand everything. They're in tune with themselves. They're not allowing the ego to feed them bullshit anymore. So, it's a big week. It's a good week for the Divine Masculines. So, amazing things are happening, guys. And it's when you believe. That's when we see it in the 3D, when we actually believe, really believe. We're in that energy of believing and not allowing the fear to take over. When we're looking through the eyes of love, when you're looking at the situation... When you're looking at your divine masculine through the eyes of love of who your divine masculine really is not what he was like before and when you're thinking and feeling this fear about oh my goodness he's never going to do it they, they can't you know i don't know how he's going to do it and how you're trying to work out how it's all going to happen that's not that's looking through the eyes of fear that's allowing the fear and the doubt to take over you have to look through the situation through the eyes of love and it is possible you can have your dreams and desires. You can have those things, but it's so difficult because we're so programmed to think things are so difficult and that we can't have them and things have to be a certain way. When you let go of all of that and you put love into it and you're really in tune with yourself, that's when you really believe. That's when you're in that energy of believing. And when you surrender, it can't work any other way, guys. You're one soul. It's only you running from yourself. And your divine masculine's not running from you. You're just running from yourself. It may feel like your divine masculine's running from you and not doing anything, but it's just what's going on within you. 
and the cards are amazing so it means you're doing a fantastic job you should be proud of yourself and you must feel the shift within you and really we don't need the cards we don't need anything because you do know what's going on when you sit quietly and when you actually take it when you're in tune with yourself um, and when you're being honest you know what's going on really you do know what's going on but it's so scary and so overwhelming to actually think good things are happening that the things are really happening that the divine masculine is coming towards you because we're so used to being in fear and thinking no no it's no it's not going to happen but it is happening because you're dealing with yourself just trust yourself trust yourself trust in god Believe in yourself, believe in God, and your divine masculine comes because you're one soul. Right, let's see what the communication is for the divine masculines. It's very deep, guys, and I hope you understand it. And always remember, I'm on this journey as well. I know how you're feeling. And when I'm doing these readings, it's me channeling. God is channeling through me. Archangel Gabriel is with me to help me communicate this message. And whatever I'm saying to you, I'm saying to myself as well. And it's things that I've got to do and take on board myself. <clears throat> so I do know what you're going through. I do know how you're feeling. And I know the fear and the doubt does come in and try and screw us over. <laughs> but it's not true. Let's do this, see what the Divine Masculines want to communicate to you this week of 29th of March to the 4th of April 2021. Here you go. You cannot make this stuff up, guys. Look, I promise you communication. I promise you communication. They want to communicate. They want to be an intimate. I'm sorry for everything I've done. So if there's something that your divine mas that stands out to you that your divine masculine has done, they're sorry. They're sorry for being silent. They're sorry for being cold with you. They're sorry that ha they haven't expressed themselves. They're sorry that they haven't told the truth. Whatever, how it resonates to you, they're sorry for everything they've done and they promise you communication. I love it when you dance. <laughs> they love it when you dance. Because when you dance, when they see you dance... Well, they're thinking about you dance they might not have seen you dance you know they it's a, they know that you're happy and you're in that energy of feeling free and you're not worried about everything um and you're enjoying you're happy because when you dance you're happy aren't you it makes you feel good doesn't it and you're moving your body and you're, it means you're listening to music and you're just in your own little zone um, you're just free from everything that you're worried about. You just let yourself go. So they they love it when you dance. So that's really positive. And this week they're saying, I promise you communi communication. So some of you will be getting communication um, this week. Um, and we've had, you know, the romance angels come out, the card that where they wanted to be in intimate with you. They want to share um, their love with you. And we've had expression as well. So... This week, you could be hearing communication um, when you believe that your divine masking can communicate. You know, because you could see this and you go, oh, yes, that's amazing. They're going to communicate, whatever. And then you go into, oh, I don't think, oh, well, will they? Will they? Oh, I'm not sure. And that's when you get the, let the doubt and the fear go in. You have to really believe. Do you believe your divine masking is going to communicate with you this week? I promise you communication, that is what they're saying. Do you believe that they're going to do that? Or are you going to let the doubt and fear take over and go, no, I don't think that's for me. You see, it's up to you. <laughs> it's up to you guys what you believe. And they're sorry for everything they've done. So, um, let's see what my plots say. See what the energy what they're in. Honest, there you go. This is so amazing, guys. What have I said about all this about truthful, being honest, sharing who they really are, 
They want to be intimate with you. They want to be close to you. They want to show you. They want to talk to you. They want to share things with you. They want to hold you. They want to everything with you. They want to share everything with you. And they want to give you honest communication. I promise you communication. They know that when they communicate with you that they've got to be honest. They know that they've got to be pure. Because they know that you, Divine Feminines, aren't going to put up with this behaviour anymore. Because you are in a place where you're practicing unconditional love for yourself. And you're in tune with yourself. And you know that you don't have to over give and chase and um, think you've got to do so much for your divine masculine because you know that this relationship is with yourself. So there's honest communication. But you have to believe it, guys. <laughs> it's down to you believing. Is your divine masculine capable of doing it? And they are capable of doing it. Because you're, you, you're one soul, positive. This is going to be a positive week. They're feeling very positive, the Divine Masculines. When you're speaking honest to yourself, when you're believing in this relationship, when in yourself and your Divine Masculine and in God, there will be honest communica com communication, sorry. <laughs> Let's see what else comes out for the Divine Masculine's communication from my part. Let's see what they'd love to say to you this week. Of March the 29th to the 4th of April. Um, and, and you cannot make this 2021, sorry. I have so much love I want to express to you. They have so much love they want to express to you. And look, expression. They want to express this now. They know how important it is to express this to you now. They know how important it is to express and they know it, they've got to express it in, a, in such a way. This time. They have so much love they want to express to you. They just want them to do it now. And they, they promise you communication, guys. Let's see what else? Communication. Believe in me, look. Believe in me. Believe that your Divine Masculine is capable. Believe that they can do it. Believe. Believe. They want you to believe in them. And when you believe, they will come with this communication. They will come with this honest, positive communication. Because they've got this love they want to express to you. Can you believe what a powerful reading this is? Can you believe I'm saying? <laughs> it's my little saying, isn't it? Um, but yeah, it's amazing, guys. It's amazing. Right, now I'm going to get, I'm going to actually, for you guys, I'm Divine Feminines, I'm going to use the reminder cast to bring forth your beautiful divine inner spirit. And I'm going to see what the message is from God to you today. What you need to know today to help you believe, to get into the energy of believing. There's no point, you know, going to people's readings and you're going to other people's readings and you're, you know, or coming to my readings and, you know, to tell you what's going on with the divine masculines. You have to believe. You have to believe. And that is challenging. That is that is challenging because we're not used to doing it. We're not used to really believing in something. You know, trusting ourselves. Because it's so like... Because it's like something... Because you, it's something that you, that you want... You, you'd love so much to happen. And you just can't... You feel so blessed that this person's come into your life. And you just can't believe it. It's just... It's, <laughs> but we've got to believe it. That's the whole point. We've got to believe it. It can be blissful. It, it is a blessing. And it's you you're dealing with. <laughs> it's you finding inner peace. Slow down and enjoy yourself. 
is the message for you. Slow down and enjoy yourself. It is time to really slow down and enjoy life for what it is. We are all too busy on our journeys to our destinations without actually enjoying the journey itself. Notice all the beauty which is always surrounding you. Really take time to appreciate it all. Is it there just for you? Action to take, sorry, is slow down, take your time, enjoy the journey of life, enjoy all the beauty which surrounds you. And the affirmation is, I know I honour my divine inner spirit by following, sorry, by slowing down and doing something for myself that I love that feels good to me. So we need to slow down and we need to stop just thinking about the destination, you know, what the end result. Enjoy this journey, and the only way you can enjoy the journey, yeah, is by trusting and knowing that everything how is how it should be right now. It, sh it everything's how it is right now for a reason. It's meant to be. You're feeling what you're feeling for a reason. If you're feeling, you know, where you're feeling a bit panicky or you're um, anxious or you're scared about your divine masculine being silent or there's no action or whatever that is all part of the process that's all part of the journey just know that it's happening for a reason and know that <laughs> you are going to end up being with your divine masculine when you actually believe when you're not rushing to the journey and trying to control the journey and thinking oh well, i'm going to do this because maybe that'll be quicker you need to slow down and actually just realize what's going on around you um, taking the beauty around you be grateful of what's going on be positive about everything that's in your life not just to think about things that are going wrong or the things that you're wanting that aren't in your life you know just be appreciative be grateful be in that energy and go with the flow love this journey and think, you know, this, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying this journey because I know what's coming. I know that my divine masculine's coming towards me. I know that he's going to be in my life. I know that I'm going to have this beautiful relationship. Otherwise, you're going to be on this journey of just being frantic and making yourself ill because you're trying to work it all out. And, you know, we know at times... You, this journey is so challenging where you just feel you just can't do it you cannot do it and you're just like i'm done with this but that's only because we believe we're letting the fear take over we're thinking we're thinking that we're not going to be with the divine masculines or you know we're just allowing the doubt to come in it, it, it doesn't work you know that when we put the allow the doubt and the fear to rule us everything does go wrong and you feel crap inside when you actually convert it into love and you see through the eyes of love you actually feel this peace knowing that everything's working out and everything's how it should be right now so slow down and enjoy yourself enjoy every moment of this process know you're always safe and you're always protected and things are always working out for you and then when you're in the dark times and you're in uncomfortable times know it's for a reason to help you to help you grow and it's stuff that you need to release still you've got to feel it and now it to go but be aware of that in those situation of what is going on don't get caught up in the dramas and the scenarios that the ego wants to feed you be kind to yourself do what you love be patient with yourself meditate whatever it is you do you don't have to like sit on um cross-legged uh, cross-legged and meditate meditation can be through lots of ways through doing something you love however that is by going for a walk by um listening to music um painting reading um yoga any kind of exercise that's all meditation as well doing what makes you happy when you're able to silent the mind so this is very powerful this week guys yet again 
<laughs> and I hope you understand what I'm saying and you do um, believe this and understand this journey that this is about a relationship with yourself and you have nothing to worry about because you're one soul. Your divine masculine is coming back to you. When you realise that, when you know that, when you let go of control, when you let go of the doubt and fear that they're not going to come back because they want to express this love to you. And they promise you communication, positive, honest communication. And they're feeling free. They're feeling this freedom. Because of all the work that you've done. So you, you have had that shift within you your divine masculine to get to this place so I hope it resonates and <laughs> this has been positive for you a positive reading for you and I hope I've helped some one person today <laughs> I've helped myself as well <laughs> by doing this reading um, so Thank you so much for joining me today. And um, like I said, if you'd like a clearer message for your unique twin flame journey, just email me, it's in the description box down below. And if you are new, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this reading because um, it helps my channel grow. Um, and I do think about you guys all the time. And I'm hoping to do more readings this week, a little bit more this week because last week I was feeling very anxious, so I wasn't doing so much, but I'm gonna try back, to, you know, get back to normal and give you some more readings this week. Um, so I'm sending my love, my support, my strength and light to you, and I love you all so very much. Keep believing, just believe this is happening, guys, and just be you. See ya. Oh, that's your soul, say